I really feel like if there's going to be a renaissance in America, it's going to happen right here in Detroit. What's the mission of, of the Heidelberg Project? We're organized to improve lives and communities through art. We have a theory, a um, theory of belief that says that all people have the right to live and grow and flourish in their communities and according to their culture. It's full circle. Automobile industry has done its thing. It's had its day. Now it's art and culture and grassroots and small businesses. And the, the man, the small person has come back full circle. That's what we're seeing. We literally started a positive epidemic here. By saying art and culture will be Detroit's new industry, we're watching how we're sending those words out there and how people are gravitating to that. And we're watching it happen. It's amazing. We're starting a positive epidemic. We're starting a rumor. And it's working. It's been buried long enough under the wings of the godfather that would be the automobile industry. Their wings have been clipped. Now here we come. Look at this. Look at this energy. That same energy that's out there is in me, it's in you. It's in all of us. It's in this building. We don't see it because of the, the facade, the facade of it, you know. It looks you know, it looks like it's it's over. It looks in such a way that people are afraid of it and so they back away from it. And in my case, that same energy that's out here is giving me the vision to say, go in there and do something. This is going to be a really, I don't even like the word historic, an inspiring art installation that's really going to just put a smile on this city. Because look at its view. Everyone from all over this city, from one angle or another, is going to see it. That's cool, man. I remember when I was on trial for the Heidelberg Project, and uh, the judge, the prosecutor, said to me, stop. And I told him, I can't. Why should I stop? The city to me is like a canvas waiting on me. And you take advantage of that opportunity because it's calling you. So I can't stop. You have to do something that's radical, something that's not been done before. You have to kind of go against the grain of uh, these buildings become a work of art that becomes a medicine that gets people to come here to see, that gets people hope and life. You change the mind, you change the, the soul, and you, you change everything. You know, someone said to me, they said, well, do you ever see the city coming back? And I said, yeah. I said, get ready, because you know, it's coming back. The city's getting ready to pop. What drives you inside? What's, what's the ticker in there? I see it. I see it. I hear it. I hear it. You know, it's like listening to some, 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 some great classical music. I hear it. The people is a reflection of the environment. The people would look just like that. And the same thing here. You got these buildings that's idle. You have people that's idle. And now it's time to transform these buildings and then transform these buildings, you also transform the people.